Hey guys. Welcome back to the session. This is the fourth video in this series. Here, we are going to push our local files to the Azure Remote Repo. To push your source code to Azure Repo, first we should register to devops.azure.com site. Azure DevOps Server is a Microsoft product that provides version control, reporting, requirements management, project management, automated builds, lab management, testing and release management capabilities. It covers the entire application lifecycle and enables DevOps capabilities. Here we are going to use Azure DevOps as a repo and then we'll deploy it to Azure using the build and release pipeline. Under one organization, we can have multiple projects. And, under one project, we can have multiple repos. Let's create a new project named, ACI with ARM. Now we can see the repo is empty. Here, they are providing the commands, how to clone or push an existing repo using command line. Let's push the code using CMD. We can directly go to the right path, by just typing the CMD on the address bar. Here we can see, we are inside our project folder. Now we can initiate our folder to Azure repo by typing git init. The git init command creates a new git repository in our local folder, and we are currently there. We can check the status of the folder by typing git status command. This is telling that there are two untracked folders. By using git add command, we will be able to add these files and folders to our local git repository. For that, we can enter git add then a dot. We can see here, all the files are adding to the local repository. Now we can commit our source code to our local repository, using git commit hyphen m, then the comments. This will commit our source code to our local system. Still our source code is in our local repository only. Next step is to push our local repository files to the remote Azure repository. To do so, we can use git push command. Azure provides the push commands to push to a remote Azure repo for the first time. So, copy the push command from the Azure repo, which is defining where our remote repo is, and push all our local commits to the remote origin. By default, it will push our source code to the master branch. This will prompt the Azure verification page, where you want to log in with your credentials. From second time onwards, you just want to use git push command to push all your commits to the remote repository. Now let's see whether our files are pushed to Azure repo or not. Here you go. All your files are there in the remote repo. That's it for this session. In the following session, we will be creating the build pipeline to generate the artifacts. See you in next session.